Question 18. Jason brought some bags of green apples and some bags of red apples. He spent £4.20. How many bags of each type of apple did he buy? Well, a bag of green apples cost 75p and a bag of red apples cost 90p. So a good idea here is to write down how much different numbers of bags of each type of apple would cost. So one bag of green apples would be 75p. I'm going to write it in pounds because the overall answer is in pounds. His second bag, two of these bags, would send him costing £1.50. Three of these bags would be another 75p on top of this. That would be £2.25. Four bags would be another 75p on top of this, which would be £3. Five bags would be another 75p on top of this, which would be £3.75. And we're going to stop there. We might go some further in a little moment, but let's do the same sort of thing for red apples. Well, the red apples, they cost 90p. So this time, I need to go up in 90p. So the first bag will just be 90p. Add on another 90p for the second bag, would be £1.80. Another 90p for the third bag, 270 Another 90p for the fourth bag, 360 And another 90p for the fifth bag, £4.50. Now what I need to do, these are the costs of different numbers of green apples and these are the costs of different numbers of bags of red apples. I can only spend £4.20. So can I find a combination from one from the green list and one from the red list that makes £4.20? Well if you look over it for 30 seconds, you should hopefully notice that £1.50 and £2.70 makes £4.20. Let's just double check. £1.50 and £2.70. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So indeed, one fifty and two seventy makes £4.20. So the one fifty from the green apples, that was from the second bag of green apples. So green apples is two bags. And on the red side, 270 was the third bag, first, second, third. So that was three bags. So, how many bags of green apples did he buy? He bought two bags. And how many bags of red apples did he buy? He bought three bags. Now, the working out really for this question is up here next to the picture. So all you'd have to do is copy that working out down into this space here. And then you would get the marks. Scroll down to see the next question. The next part of the question says this. Nika and Hassan brought some bags of apples. Nika says, I brought more apples than Hassan, but I spent less money. Explain how this is possible. What we're going to do first of all is transfer the prices for different numbers of bags from up here down into this working out. So we'll just transfer those down now. Now we need to remember that the green apples comes in bags of six. So this first bag would just be six apples, plus the second bag would be 12, then 18 apples, then 24 apples, then 36 apples. But the red bags, the red apples, they come in bags of 10. So the green apples are bags of 6, and the red apples are bags of 10. So if you buy one bag of red apples, you've got 10 apples. Two bags, you would have 20. Three bags, you would have 30. Four bags, 40. Five bags, 50. Now, Nika is saying that she brought more apples than Hassan, but spent less money. Now, is there any number of apples here where you can buy more apples, but spend less money? Okay, so there's a couple of ways we could do this. Nika could actually buy 20 red apples and spend £1.80, whereas Hassan could be buying... 18 green apples and spending £2.25. So she'd be getting 
more apples because she's got 20 and he's got 18, but she's spending less money because she's only spending £1.80. So that is one way of doing it. It also works on the next one too. So she could spend £2.70 and get 30 red apples, whereas Asan could spend £3 and get only 24 apples, which is more money, £3 more than 2 70 but he's getting less apples, 24 is less than 30. So those are the two ways that it could be possibly done. So as for explaining it, you would just then need to write some sort of sentence that's described this. So you could say, Nika could pay £1.80 for 20 red apples while Hassan pays £2.25 for only 18 green apples. So it's just a matter of looking at the numbers and then giving an example.